everyone, this is Melody Hubbard, your Women Empowerment Coach, and I'm really excited about starting this relationship series, um, Love Day for the Single Woman, and to be honest with you, I had no intention of doing a Valentine's Day series, um, but what happened, I started to see a lot of women take to social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all these different sites, and I started to see them post all these negative things about Valentine's Day. I hate Valentine's Day, anti-Valentine's Day, the look on my face when somebody asks me what I'm doing on Valentine's Day and they know I'm single. I don't care. I'm single. I don't need Valentine's Day. It's just a day. All these crazy things. Um, and we all know that most women look forward to Valentine's Day and most women want somebody to be in a relationship with to love. And so as a result of all the things that I saw on social media, I decided to do a three-part series. And let me say this, I am not a relationship coach, I am not a relationship guru or anything like that, but I promised you that I would be transparent and I would share my life or give you some insight on just some of my experiences. And so, and to be honest with you, I have been single more on Valentine's Day than I have been in a relationship. So, you know, for so many years, I have been single and, and it never bothered me. Like I have never ever been depressed on Valentine's Day. I actually love the day and I always have. And what you have to understand, there are so many different types of love, whether it's, you know, with your parents or your girlfriends or whoever. So to this day, me and my best friends still exchange gifts. Me, my sister, and my mom, we go all out and shower each other with love because those are individuals that have a major part in my life. And what you have to understand, principle number one, you need to court yourself. You need to make love to yourself. See, in order for somebody else to love you, you have to first love yourself. And this is really just your moment of introspection where you're discovering who you are, what you like, what makes you happy, what you want in our relationship. Because a lot of times when the man asks you what you want, you can't tell him. So you need to utilize this time to be in a true season of preparation. Guys, on Valentine's Day, I always purchase myself something. I always treat myself to a higher standard. I buy my own little blue box. I buy my own Chanel, Louboutins. Whatever it is that I want, I go out and buy it. Guys, I, I am high maintenance. So when I get a man, you know, or when I enter into a relationship, you can expect him or hold him to a higher standard because that's how you treat yourself. See, because if you do all these amazing things for yourself and you truly love yourself, guys, you have every right to expect that of the person that comes into your life talking about they want to spend the rest of their life with you. Guys, how dare you require so much of a man or require him to treat you a certain way that you do not treat yourself? So I tell people all the time, guys, it's all about you. The most important person that you should care about loving is yourself. So don't be depressed. Guys, go out to the mall, buy an outfit, get your nails done, get some lunch. Right, do whatever it is that you would normally do if you had a boo and do that for yourself. Guys, I'm really excited about all the things that are going to happen into your life. And, and what you have to understand is your choices determine all the things that you attract. Guys, if you treat yourself like a queen, he will treat you like a king. And so I'm excited that you tuned into this video. Guys, do anything on Love Day besides be depressed because it's just one day. And each and every day, 365 days out of the year, you need to love yourself. You need to do something amazing for yourself. And I guarantee you when Mr. Right comes, you're going to be ready. You're going to know what you're going to tolerate. You're going to know what your deal breakers are. He won't be able to date you in the house because you're used to taking yourself out. He won't be able to take you to these little small uh, nitpicky restaurants when you know you've taken yourself to the, the best restaurants. So when you treated yourself a certain way, guys, you know exactly how you want to be courted. And yes, I did say courted because I believe in old-fashioned ways and, and chivalry is absolutely not dead. So guys, this is just part one of a three-part series. And please, please, please tune in tomorrow. I guarantee you're going to be in for a treat. Guys, and tomorrow's topic is, is, is do not settle. Guys, when I say I'm really passionate about when it comes to relationships and finding you're happy, you will be surprised that you are in control of every aspect of your life from business, personal, spiritual, relationships, anything that you can think of, you can control it with how you treat yourself. So until next time, guys, I will see you at the top and not from the top. Bye.